Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm going to show you this 2010 Nissan Rooks. It's got uh, 88,000 kilometers on it, which is about 53,000 miles. Let's take a look around. We'll show you the features inside. This Nissan Rooks is a four-passenger vehicle in the yellow plate category. So the, it's the more economical category, the smallest category. Road tax per year is going to be 3,000 yen, which is about $28 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April uh, time frame, so make sure you get that done. But uh, if you get this from us, we'll go ahead and take care of it this year. You won't have to worry about it until next April. Now, this is a new body design that we've been carrying. A lot of dealers don't carry these yet. Well, you can pay cash outright for this with US dollars cash or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, you heard that right. Zero down. Most people will put a down payment just to reduce their overall monthly payments, but that's totally up to you. So before we go inside show you the features, I always like showing the rain guards. The rain guards will allow you to crack your windows open. This way if it rains you don't have to worry about it getting wet inside. But the more important feature is going to give you that cross ventilation during the summertime. Uh, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield uh, visor. You can see how big this dash is. So anything that's going to keep this dash cooler in the summertime is going to cool down the car a lot quicker. Okay. So uh, this does have the keyless. <coughs> Excuse me. So foot on the brake. Push this one time. All right, I feel a sneeze coming on too, so excuse me a second as I, hopefully that just comes. But in the meantime, i close this. Where is my kilometers? There they go. All right, so 88,900 odometers. Um, show you a couple of warning lights. And, uh, one right off to the right there, that light green one, that is your new temperature gauge. So it's gonna be light green when the engine's cool. When the engine warms up, it goes away. Then it'll be red if it's overheating, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, off to the left here, uh, the one all the way to the left is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelt so you do give tickets on and off base. One to the right of that is your emergency brake, okay? It's not a low pressure tire gauge. We get that a lot. But uh, it is a kick type, so when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, it comes right back on. Other than that, just a straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Uh, off to the left here, you do have a little bit of storage above the radio. Uh, and a little bit of storage underneath the radio. You have your shifter and air conditioning controls. Off to the left here, continuing, you have a little pocket there for some storage. Glove box, and you do have a cup holder underneath the vent on both sides. Okay? Um, that is your uh, passenger space, along with the red road flare. And then that's my leg room over here. Let me make sure this is all the way back, which it is, and it is all the way down. So I am 511, as everybody loves knowing. I would drive this just as is. If emergency, yeah, I could probably slide it up an inch or two, still be comfortable, but I would, I probably wouldn't do that. And I forgot to show you there, it does have a uh, non-smoking ashtray and the power outlet, okay? Uh, and then you do have uh, storage on each side in the door panel, not a whole lot, but you probably put a couple magazines in there. Uh, let's go ahead and go eye level, let me see. Yeah, that's my eye level, we really can't see anything past. The windshield wipers, like most of the time. Okay. And then this is the time where I normally show you the uh, auction sheet. So, and we can keep those on the sun visor on the driver's side. So this is graded number four. Okay. So uh, this is also uh, it, we don't only really not only keep this to give you peace of mind knowing it has not been in any accidents, but it's also a good selling tool for you after a few years after you get out of or when you're getting ready to get out of here if you've had no accidents. You can show that to the next potential owner of the vehicle, okay? Uh, so you do have your mirror controls on uh, the door panel. And then off to the right here on the, the floor on the side of the uh, seat, please don't forget this is your gas cover release, okay? And then you got your, uh, your hood release on the bottom of the dash there. And then to turn it off, just one time, push it, and it turns off. Now these do have uh, the sliding doors. Okay, the one on the left is a power sliding door. Okay, so let me just go ahead and show you that. All you have to do is uh, just, what? Okay, it's making me look like a liar. Somebody turned it off, so hold on a second. Where? There you go. All right. So that one is a power sliding door. Okay. And then you just push the, the lever and it'll go ahead and close. All right, so this is my leg room. I got tons of leg room. I mean, this is uh, reclined a little bit more than the driver's seat, but I got tons of leg room. Uh, you can um, put this up a little bit. There it is. So it's on a rail system. 
So that's that's with it all the way up. I'm still a good four inches away from the back of the seat and my knees. Uh, nothing as far as storage on the uh, driver's side, but on the passenger side, uh, it does have storage, a pocket for storage. And then all the way to the left here in the back, you do have a cup holder on each side. And then I'm gonna slide this backwards again, and then I'll show you the, the space in the back. I'm just gonna... All right. And there's your space back here. Now you can put these seats forward. Me, uh, I'm gonna try this one because that other one is reclined way too much. Now you can have it just as this, or it lifts up and goes down into the, the where the feet go. Okay, but I'm just I'm just gonna show you uh, this just as is. Okay, and then you'll have this whole space open if if need be. All right, so let's uh, show you the engine compartment. Then we'll wrap this video up. So the massive powerhouse under here. There you go, the big 660 cc engine, nice and clean. Okay. All right, so 2010 Nissan Rooks, uh, just over 88,000 kilometers. Again, 53,000 miles about. Uh, military price goes down to 5,500. Uh, with an additional military discount, we'll get this down to 5,300. That'll include your two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty. The 2021 road tax and the 10% sales tax are included. Only your American insurance requirement will be on top. That's whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and it's based on your pay grade and age. Um, if you've had no uh, insurance claims with your previous insurer for the last three years, please let us know. We might be able to get you a discount on your new insurance policy here. Uh, as always, we encourage you to shop around, go out to other dealers, see what other places have, and then uh, stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have here, and uh, let us tell you what our program is all about, because it is definitely different. Uh, if you have any questions while you're out and about, think you're not getting the right information, go ahead and contact us. Our contact information is below. If you're on your phone watching this, please click the title of the video. That'll take you to YouTube to see that information for yourself. Or if you're on our website, it is there, or you can simply click the uh, YouTube icon as well, okay? Um, but don't forget, we do. Uh, you can pay cash for this with US dollars cash, or take advantage of zero percent uh, financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.